Hey everyone, I'm going to go over the home mortgage tracker to give you an idea of how to use this tool. Um, so I'm going to start with the input mortgage information. I'm going to enter the loan amount, the term years, interest rate, and first payment date. So as you input those four um, important information, your monthly payment is going to be calculated here in the green box. And then the table below is also going to be calculated with your interest paid, principal paid, and the payment amount um, together. And also the due dates for each payment. Your principal payment balance is over here on the right side. This shows you the running balance for each month. Uh, up top here is the results box, the original loan amount, final payment date, the total interest paid over that life of the loan. And with any additional payments, uh, the final payment uh, date will be reduced and also how many months that is reduced. The total interest paid will also be uh, marked here as well with any additional payments and how much interest you're saving over time. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the first 12 months and just to show you how this tracker works. So for the first month, I'm going to put 100 towards the first month. And then the second month, I'm going to put 50. So right there, you, you see as I'm entering, the, uh, the principal balance is recalculating with the additional principal payment. And also, the previous uh, principal balance is going to be blacked out so you know which principal balance is your running balance for that month. So I'm going to go ahead and keep adding numbers for the first 12 months. And as I'm entering these, you can see how each month they will be blacked out, the principal balance, so you can continuously see your running balance for each one. Okay, so for that last one, I did zero. And even though there was, you did not put any additional payment towards the loan, that's fine. Still enter zero. There is nothing that's going to be recalculated for that month, as in the previous months that I added an additional payment. So if you go back up to the results, you're going to see the original uh, loan final payment date is going to stay the same, and so will the interest. Your additional payment final payment date, however, is going to be reduced by five months and your total interest saved is $2,000, a little over. So that's how you use the home mortgage tracker. I'm gonna move on to the escrow tracker. For this starting out, you're gonna to wanna to put your beginning balance in this yellow box here. Uh, you can find your beginning balance on your closure disclosure, closing disclosure form or um, talk to your bank and see if they can give you um, the amount that your account is starting at. So. I'm going to add in $5,000 just as an um, example. You're going to start over here up from the left side and the first payment. You're going to put your date. So <clears throat> say from the last example, we did 3-1 for uh, the uh, mortgage payment. So with it being added, your money is going into your escrow. You're going to put it in the green column. So I'm going to say, for example, we did 150 Nothing was extra, uh, so subtracted sorry, from your escrow. And then you're going to tab over to what was paid column, and you're just going to put mortgage. So for your next month, say you did just another 150 towards your escrow, you're going to do a mortgage again. And then for this month, say you did your uh, taxes, and say it was a different date. This time is going to be subtracted. So say it was 650. And then for the uh, what was paid, you're going to put insurance. And then if you have um, PMI that you have to, uh, private, private mortgage insurance, you can go ahead and put that under subtracted. So that was 150. And then what was paid, PMI. And then if you have taxes that you have to take out, say that was $2,000, and then just taxes. So again, really easy and simple. You just have to make sure anything added is in the green column and anything subtracted is in the red column. Because based on this, is going to determine your uh, running balance for your um, escrow total. Um, 
So yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm going to move on to the original amortization schedule. So this tab is just uh, for reference. Um, it's so you, if you can kind of refer to it um, whenever you want to look at it. Uh, but it's basically going to show you the running loan uh, that you have without any additional payments. And as you can see, so the annual total interest that you'll pay for each year, uh, I'm just going to show you um, over the 30 years without any additional payment. Right here's the sum in the bottom. You would pay about $76,500 in just interest over the life of a loan in 30 years. So this is just a $100,000 loan. Right now it's just it's being doubled almost with your interest. So it's a good um it's a good reference point just to see how you're doing with your mortgage and seeing if you're adding more payment towards your balance of your loan for your mortgage. Okay, so if you have any questions or if you want to purchase them, purchase this mortgage tracker. Um, my Etsy shop is Bubbly Papers. Um, you can find me on Etsy, as I just said. And if you have any questions, uh, my email is bubblypapers at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.